Rock are known the world over. In the 17 years since emerging from Little Rock, Arkansas, Evanescence has broken barrier after barrier in the world of rock, paving the way for women in an industry dominated by men. But one thing lead singer Amy Lee, lead singer Amy Lee has never done is use her massive fame and platform to talk politics. But as with everything 2020, times have changed. We welcome Amy Lee of Evanescence to American Voices. Amy, what was the tipping point for you in deciding to use your platform, to leverage your platform for the purposes of this campaign? Wow. Thanks for having me. Um, honestly, that song had been brewing for a while and just accumulation of um, response to feeling unheard um, in a lot of levels, feeling like we're seeing um, American voices suppressed. Um, and I remember there was a specific moment uh, when the impeachment, the impeachment trials were going on uh, and we were sort of in the final phases of those first batch of songs, right, kind of right before the top of the lockdown happened. Um, and I was listening back to my own words uh, and feeling convicted, like, yeah, we wrote a protest song, like, we're not being heard. There's so much injustice. There's so many wrongs to fight and stand up against um, and use our voices for. Um, and we, we've we made this protest song about that, but I'm not really doing that. It's always been sort of like this policy of mine to um, keep it down on the politics, keep that separate so that the, so the music can be a, a place for us all to come together. And that's beautiful and real, but the truth is we have to face the truth. Um, and we just felt like there's got to be a way that we can stand up and, and help, try to help our country pull out of this. Um, and I think that the greatest way that we can move forward is for everyone to be heard, everyone to be represented, everyone. Um, and so we're trying to use it to help inspire people to vote. So many people are voting already. I feel like there's, mm -hmm. there's, 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 there's so much to be grateful for at this point right now, even before Election Day. Amy, just two days out, there are record shattering early voting totals, proof that voter outreach works. I mean, this still is not over. What do you say to voters, particularly young voters who have not yet cast their ballot? Man, I just this is this word unprecedented keeps coming up and it's really true. Um, I think that it's it's always been important, such an important important part of what makes this a free country, make this a democracy. What makes it us um, is that we speak up. But it's easy to feel like just one voice doesn't matter. I haven't voted every time. I, d I don't think people should feel ashamed of that. This is a time for us all to wake up um, and step up and every voice really, really does matter. Um, if we want something to change, if we want things to happen, it needs to happen massively um, because everything in place isn't about uh, representing every single person's voice. We have to overcome some of those um, laws and, and rules and things that are in place that aren't really there for us. All right, Amy Lee, thank you for your time. And in addition to head count, you can also get the latest information to help plan your vote on 